In this picture, we have musical instruments. And the first type of musical instrument we're going to look at are percussion instruments. These are instruments that you hit. And here is a cymbal, C-Y-M-B-A-L. And inside it, it's got a little um, pistol which hits the side like that. And a little bell here, number two. And inside the bell, there's an iron pellet that moves around and hits the sides of the bell and makes a tinkling noise. And a rattle here, which is used by children and also used in music as well. And the rattle has got lots of seeds or stones inside it, and you toss it around, and that makes a noise. And we also have, if I can find number four, a Jew's harp. And a Jew's harp is a little string, and you hit that against your teeth, and that makes a noise. Um, when we come across it, I'll show it to you. I can't see number four. Um, but it's put to the mouth, and you twiddle it with a finger. I think that is it there, actually. I think that's the Jew's harp. Yes, it is. It's shaped like that, and it's got a little thing in the middle like that. You put it against your mouth, and you twiddle a little metal bit, and that makes a noise. Then we have a drum, which you can see here. And you hit the drum with drumsticks, and the skin spread out on top of the drum, and the skin is held taut here with these wires, and these are drumsticks. Um, and we have here a small um, little piano here, which is done by hitting the keys, and the keys hit strings. This is also a percussion. And here we have an instrument called a dulcimer, which has got strings spread across like that, and you pluck the strings with your finger, and that also makes musical notes. And the shepherd's harp which is also very similar. It's got strings stretched across like this, and you pluck the strings, and each string gives a different note. It's a small little harp. And we have also a percussion instrument, um, a tambourine, um, which is a type of round drum with um, rattles around the outside. There isn't a picture of it here. And here we have a timbrel or a triangle, which you also hit with a stick, and that makes a pretty sound. So these are percussion instruments. The next type, um, we have strings, which are stretched, and then they are... Um, what you do with those strings is they are hit with a hammer, or they are plucked. And here we have a harp, which has got its strings, and you pluck the strings and make beautiful music. And here we have the, the little piano, which I mentioned before. Um, we have a lute, which is here, and this is plucked. You pluck the strings and play music. Um, and the lute has got different parts. It's got a belly, this part here. You can see it on this guitar here as well. It has pegs at the top for tightening the strings to keep them in tune. We have strings that run down here. We have frets running across, which also help you keep the notes in the right order when you're playing. And it has a bridge as well. Um, some instruments, like this here, which is a viol or a violin, is played with a bow, and the bow is scraped across the strings. But otherwise, it's got all the same parts as the lute. Um, and a harp, the, and here's, an, here's, a sm here's a viola, which is smaller than, uh, um, here's the violin, here's the viola, and even bigger than this is a cello, but these three instruments look the same. A cello is very big, like this. You put it between your legs and hold the neck over your shoulder. A violin you hold in your hand and you put it on your shoulder and you play with it and a viola is smaller than a, than a violin. Finally we have wind instruments and here we have a flute 
which is played by blowing across a hole and you put your fingers on the holes and stop them up. Um, we have a bagpipe here which is played by blowing into it, filling the air up in the bag and then you push the bag down and the air comes down through the pipes and you play notes on the holes in the pipes. We have a trumpet which you can see here and also here are some bellows which blow air um, and an organ is an instrument which uses pipes we haven't got a picture of it here and the air is blown through the pipes and it's got a keyboard just like a piano and as you press the keys down you open and close the stops in various pipes and the air runs through those pipes and plays music and this is an organ which you find in big concert halls um, and also in some churches and in fact what I didn't notice in the picture is here is the organ here it is these are the pipes of the organ here it is and here's the music open in front what you can't see in front of this is the keyboard which is here and this part here would be the bellows which goes up and down up and down blowing air into the organ and as you press the keys music is played through the organ pipes and here in this picture you can see the organ here are the pipes and here's the organist playing the keyboard and in this organ of course the air is being blown through the pipes by electric means this is a huge pipe organ and here's a man playing a cello and here are trumpets being played in a fanfare where lots of trumpets play together